Hello, men, this is Chris with the Age of Reason. And I was uh, just washing up after work. And I have some thoughts in my head. Some of you may be aware, some of you may not be aware, that during the 2020 Super Bowl, Scientology ran a one minute long advertisement. And this, of course, is well before Operation COVID-19, well before the staged race riots and staged city burnings. This is well before all of that. Well, somewhat before all of that. Anyhow, this commercial plays really, really quickly because they're giving you a lot of subliminal information. They're giving you... Uh, triggers for your brain that you'll notice but it goes so quick you don't have time to you know think about it check it out so you'll you'll recognize a symbol and it will have a trigger event somewhere in your brain but the media continues and you are forced therefore to consume it as it is presented all at once so let's go ahead and take a look at this and see what we can see with our 2020 vision. So right off the jump, did you good folks see all that? Okay, we're gonna go ahead, they're gonna start off with some kind of party. It's gonna have an exciting party. Ooh, or consumerism, medicine, hospital, EMS, blue and white uh, colored pills. Blue and white, huh? What colors do those uh, trigger you to think about as you have a look at it? A particular so-called nation? Let's, let's continue. It goes quick. Fires. More partying, more consumerism, fires. It's time to rediscover. It's time to rediscover. What's the time to rediscover? And what is this, the Big Bang? Uh, the spark of ingenuity, the spark of light, the spark of life? Hmm. Rediscover the human soul through the Big Bang. Not the mystical, uh, the man. Some asshole playing fucking, playing with cards at a rodeo. Thinks he's pretty talented. I think he's an asshole. The physical. Madame Blavatsky stuff. Yeah. Oh. The So these are all the things that they have previously given you in this existence, in this world, to attempt to make sense of life and death. Um, and they're saying, no more of that. You know? So if you believe in this kind of stuff here, that's your prerogative. They're saying, no, it's time for something different. Well, how could it be time for something different? Let's say you follow this kind of stuff and you swear that it works. <laughs> How are you, like, if this is a truth to somebody, how are you going to tell them, no, no more of that. Let's keep going. We're talking about the source. Well, it's, this is what, a fake Native American, a fake Indian, because the Indians are fake people, um, completely. All that stuff is just consumerism, all crap. There's no way these people fucking... I mean, heathenism and paganism is real. But uh, I see no reason to think why it's anything different between species or races, however you want to look at classifying people. <laughs> so they show this dancing around. But it's time. Uh, now, are they insinuating that the, the heathen uh, here has the secret I don't know of your abilities. 
And uh, here's an interesting note about the uh, heathen dance as well. Uh, hold on, watch. Heathen dance coming up. Get ready. Okay, action pan. Okay, heathen. Heathen dancer. Look at that dance. Now, I don't have the clip handy for this, but I want you to rewatch I Pet Goat 2 and pay attention to the, um, the Islander and the dance that the Islander is doing uh, in I Pet Goat 2. Uh, at the ending, whenever you, when you know the the seals are, are opened or whatever it, it's really about, pay attention to the dance because that is the exact same leg movement depicted in I Pet Goat too. So what says we have an asshole playing basketball or something? Oh, it's an asshole climbing a rope. Okay, asshole climbing a rope because you know climbing a rope means. Well, what's the rope? You know, Jacob's ladder. You know, the the rope upwards to heaven. Here's an asshole running, and here's a woman who doesn't look Asiatic. Uh, maybe she's supposed to be Latina, though. So, um, you know, South American. How many candles do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. I think I count twenty-three candles. I'm just looking at it with my thumb here. Twenty-three, of course, could be coding if that's how many is there. Four, two threes for thirty-three. Uh, so I don't sound like an asshole. Let's just double check. I'll pause this. So upon uh, recounting it, I do still count 23 candles, uh, which could be coding for 33, two threes. Uh, what are we supposed to be seeing here with the light? Uh, uh, the spiritual aura, um, which has all been documented in Kabbalah, uh, things like that. Um, so they're going to tell us that Dianetics is something new, though. But so far... The signs are showing that it's the same old created thing as before. The same secrets. But they're trying to draw you in by saying, are you curious? Let's, let's try something new. Let's keep rolling. The thing that makes you, you. The thing that makes you, you. So I don't know what that is. We would presume it to be a woman, but anymore, how could you ever be so sure? Uh, is that just a CGI creation? I don't fucking know. <laughs> um, I, 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 I couldn't tell you. But let's, let's keep rolling. Uh, it's got some dark eyes. They might be brown, probably if it's a real person that... Always using those melanated eyes on the masses. You hardly ever see any blue eyes, green eyes, or anything like that. Any actual diversity in terms of the spectrum of what people, what makes people. Let's keep rolling. I don't know what it's like over in China or Japan, but over here in the States, we don't have smiling robots doing our jobs yet in, in factories. What's this guy? Here's what it looks like in reality. You know, you're, you're fucking stuck in a fucking cubicle, you know, stuck in a fucking job surrounded by fucking paperwork that doesn't fucking matter to you once you get out of there. And, of course, he's very bored, so he would like to fulfill himself. You know, as I continue to ask, how do you feel fulfilled? Well, it's something that comes from inside, right? Right? Uh, that's, that's something completely organic within you. But he's going to stare at a computer screen and uh, wonder why he's so bored. Of 
Now I don't know what this is here. I think that might be an image of uh, an apartment complex of the future. <laughs> I don't know. But the man is saying no more speculation. Let's back it up and try to listen. Now, what is this actually? There's a figure in red on the screen. What the fuck is this? So no more speculating. Let's keep going. No more of this. Maybe it was a library. I don't know. No more of this. Uh, the brain. No more of this. Okay. Check this. These are these are the way that they subliminally code this shit. No more of this. The mind. The brain. One brain, an individual brain. Let's go. Backed it up. But what of self-fulfillment? Happiness. Peace of Check how quick this came along. Curix, the cure all. Orange and white pill during Operation, well, just before Operation COVID 19, with the uh, <laughs> everyone freaking out about what pills to ingest to save themselves from the Grim Reaper, supposedly. All right. Now, to start with, they said no more of this, and they, they were talking about the single mind. No more of this, no more of your mind, and no more of this. Pill bottles, okay. Let's keep going. Is, is, is that like take the red pill, take the blue pill, uh, in a way? No more taking the, the red pill? Let, let's find out. But this. But this. And so what is this? Two women sitting in a room. What? What's the point here? Are they, what's their role? What's their role? They say more of this. More of women sitting in chairs. Well, of course, it's not that, that bland, not that innocuous. It's not that uh, flimsy. More women in chairs. This is uh, a business environment, you know. Someone's uh, taking an interview. <laughs> Where's the men? Well, the men were all freaking out. They were all worried. Uh... <laughs> They're all bored. And so far what we're seeing is uh, this. Let's keep going. I suppose they did show a man climbing a rope. <laughs> Let's keep going. Now this is slick what they pull here. This is um, some road map that they have. And even at uh, quarter speed this blazes by. And yeah, this is a library. And so... The person's grasping for knowledge and speculating about which book to read, I suppose. Let's keep going. I want you guys to try to catch as much of that roadmap as you can. No more of this. Or this. But this. there and what do we have we, they want more of this C A R are the uh, symbols they're using the glyphs the characters um, of course this uh, makes the formation of the pyramid at the top is the C and if you look inside of the C it could be displayed to show a compass okay I don't understand uh, well I don't know yet what their uh, initials uh, stand for 
I don't know much about Scientology other than that there's a Scientology movement happening that's been happening in Columbus, Ohio since um, 2001. And here in uh, Michigan, in Detroit, they've opened up a new Scientology headquarters in Detroit. So Scientology is growing, uh, particularly throughout the Midwest. Um, let's, uh, let's, let's keep rolling, okay? the bridge to total freedom and we have a pyramid in the upper left corner with three stripes of that the pyramid is comprised of three sections <laughs> are you fucking kidding me look at this and the room appears to be the same room where the women were doing the interview so they're talk what they want is an increase in Scientology interviews. That's what that room was about, okay? That's the exact same room where the interview was taking place. The bridge to total freedom. Let's roll. And you see how quick they pull this. What was that symbol? Okay, the symbol is on the uh, desk. They're going to come up to it. But if we look at it from a distance, there's two pyramids in it. And an S shape, a serpent. Oh, you will know, all right. So there it is. Uh, the S for the serpent. And it's serpentining through the two pyramids. Oh, <laughs> Time to discover the human soul. Well, that's a very romantic concept, isn't it? Of course, everyone's curious to know what the soul is, what makes us, what happens at life, what happens at death. Everyone's trying to find answers. But are you really gonna fucking find these answers from two pyramids and an S that told you that the, the, the old, uh, fucking witchcraft and everything else was wrong and that you didn't need it anymore are you going to listen uh, to any kind of truth from an entity telling you that the brain the mind is no longer relevant essentially ah uh, yeah this was just a quick one that I had to put up uh, like I say a lot of you guys uh, may not be aware of that um, commercial that took place during the Super Bowl of 2020 <clears throat> well, here we are with 2020 vision, correct? Correct. We have astigmatism. Are we nearsighted? Are we farsighted? Now let's let's put on the glasses. Put on the fucking glasses, and let's get that 2020 vision. All right, all right, guys. This is just a quick one. You guys might think it's a snoozer. I don't care. I gotta go. I'll catch you all next time. This is Chris with the Age of Reason telling you all to, reminding you all, of course, to keep both eyes, all three eyes opened at all times and pay attention. You see how they do this shit? Watch. Watch it go. Watch it go. Scientology uh, headquarters just opened Detroit, Michigan. They got some fucking shit in the works. Don't worry about it. I'll catch you all next time. Peace in the Middle East.